More than 3 million Americans are struggling to get food, water, and electricity after a catastrophic hurricane. And yet, the president is antagonizing its victims. How can he do that? It's because the crisis is in Puerto Rico, a U.S. territory long treated as if it were a backwater colony. President Trump arrived in Puerto Rico two weeks after Hurricane Maria ripped across it like a 50 mile wide tornado. But the late arrival isn't the worst offense. Trump downplayed the death toll and even suggested that Puerto Ricans are a burden on America. Now, I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico, but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack. The racist double standard applied to the health and welfare of Puerto Ricans is shameful. Yet as Puerto Ricans begged for help, Trump didn't respond with compassion and humility. Instead, he did what he does best. He tapped into his cultural war playbook and painted a picture of lazy people of color dependent on government handouts. And with just a few tweets, President Trump demonstrated what few are willing to say, that the United States in 2017 is still behaving like a colonial master, denying Puerto Ricans the treatment afforded to those who are considered as first-class Americans. Puerto Ricans have been US citizens since 1917, when President Woodrow Wilson signed the Joan Shafrath Act. Giving Puerto Rican citizenship meant they could fight for the US in World War I, but they couldn't manage their own economy or negotiate their own trade relations. 100 years later, they still can't. US federal agencies do that. And despite paying taxes, American citizens living in Puerto Rico can't vote in presidential elections unless they have residency in one of the 50 US states. Puerto Rico is 1,500 miles away from Washington, but it might as well be on the moon. Trump said it was difficult to get help to the island because it's surrounded by big ocean and water. Wait, what? We have one of the most sophisticated militaries in the world, but if that power is not paired with the moral imperative to help, what good is it to Americans in need? Even before the hurricane, Puerto Rico's economy was crippled by billions of dollars in debt. It will need long-term support, not just to recover from Maria, but to become economically strong. But telling suffering citizens that they are a burden is nothing less than cruel. And that is the insidious essence of colonialism. Cruelty mixed with the veneer of compassion and stewardship. The greatness of this country lies in our capacity to lead with compassion for those who are most in need, whether they are white, black or brown, Spanish or English speaking. An American citizen is an American citizen and we should treat them equally. But the way Puerto Rico has been treated is nothing less than a national shame.